What's up YouTube, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna teach you how to deep clean and, and zero gap your cordless and this masters. Let's go. So the first thing you're going to need is your Andis cordless clippers. Next you're going to need a screwdriver, a can of compressed air, preferably with a straw, clipper side spray, and clipper oil. That's all you need. Let's get started. Alright, so first things first, we're going to take the blade off. So next what we're going to do is we're going to press down here and unplug this ribbon cable. Okay. There's a pull tab right here. You push down here and it should slide out. Gonna move this off to the side. Right under here, same thing. There's another pull tab. Squeeze or pinch it and pull it out. Next, we're gonna take our flathead. We're gonna pop off. Me neither. Pop off our power button or our power switch. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna our flathead, kind of pry this up a little bit, take this piece out, that's going to give you access into here, but once you get that there, we're going to take these back plates off, so switch to our smaller screw, smaller screw here. there. I'm going to blow all this out. Alright, so once you have all of that blown out with air, we're going to start putting these back together. So first thing, first thing we're going to start with is our, our lever. Our lever right here. And you want to make sure that this right here, this tension rod, like it pushes over from with the lever. Okay, so you want to make sure you can pull all this out too. Okay, so before you screw these down, I had to I had to flip this around the other way. You want to make sure that your lever, like tighten these down a little bit. You want to make sure your lever is reaching all the points it needs to hit. Because if you don't, if you have this backwards, this is going to go way over here and this is going to go way over here. So make sure that that looks good before you finish tightening everything down. And then for those of you that don't know, 
however tight this is, however tight these screws are, that's how tight it will be for your tension on your lever. So if you don't want it super tight, loosen it a little bit, but don't make it too loose because then when you push on the steel blade, it'll move your lever for you. So set that tension to however what's comfortable for you. On to the next part. All right, so now we're gonna stick this back in here. Make sure your wire's tucked in right. And you want these two holes right up top. That should just pop right in. And then you're gonna go ahead and connect this connector back in there. And then you're gonna go fold this over and you're gonna connect this right back in here. And then you're right back to, right back to, to money. Then we're gonna put our power switch back on there, click it right in there, clipper fires right back up just fine, okay so now we're going to put the clipper lid back on and then we'll stick the blade back on, so put this back on. So then real quick, what we're gonna do, put some clean paper towel, spread these down. Let those dry, and then we'll stick them back in. All right, now that those are dry, we're gonna stick our blade back in. You wanna make sure these go right back in the grooves, how they're supposed to. Okay. Set the blade in there like this. Lay this flat. Hold it with one hand. Set our screw. Set our blade. Check our blade. Check our blade again. Tighten it down. Now we're gonna put some oil on there. Ooh, too much. Too much. Too much oil. pretty again and there you have it that's how you deep clean and zero gap and this masters for this and this masters you guys can hear them running smooth everything works just fine still got that thing test your zero gap on your forearm good to go that's it watching.